Hey, what's up guys? It's BHA Tech Hunter here, and today we're going to be doing something super easy, something real simple, setting up Nice Ash Miner on your brand new RTX or AMD card to get those sweet, sweet Bitcoin profits. So first off, what you're going to want to do here is hop over to uh, NiceAsh.com, and you're going to want to jump over and make an account. And once you've made an account, you can start the whole process and get to your sweet, sweet Bitcoin profits. So the first thing you're going to want to do after you've done that is go to more, and you're going to want to hop down here to download center miners and tools what they're going to prompt you to try and download is the nice hash quick miner it is not the way to get the most efficient bitcoin profits you can do it it personally didn't work for me i couldn't get the program to work at all but what i downloaded is the nice hash miner which is just the more complicated way with more options and also if you're an amd user you have to use this one it is the way so you're going to want to click download and before you download this if you're using an antivirus you're going to want to hop over here you're going to want to disable your shield for 10 minutes because it is not a signed program you're going to want to grab the installer and it did this to me last time click it again there we go open the program run that baby i agree run nice hash you're just gonna want to accept nobody reads terms of services this is just about the usage of third-party miners next now there are a couple ways you can log in if you have the mobile application and you're signed in you can scan yourself to sign in you can log in which sometimes does not work or you can enter your bitcoin address manually just by going like that. Now you can locate your Bitcoin address by going to your NiceHash dashboard, then mining, then going to mining address, and there will be your mining address. It's that simple. You're gonna wanna just copy and paste that. You're gonna wanna click save. Then it's gonna set up. And while it's setting up binaries and stuff, you can take a nice drink from your BHA Tech Store water bottle, bhatechstore.com. And now that you're done that, you can hop over to the settings page and you're going to want to make sure that the service location is the closest one to you. For me, it's San Jose. It's the closest to me. You can switch your currency to whatever you want. I like dark theme. There's dark theme. Have to restart to get the whole theme. Let's restart it. There we go. Then you're going to want to hop over to the plugins page. I like the T-Rex miner. So I'm gonna get the T-Rex miner. For me, I think it's the most profitable one. So now that you're doing this and you're all set up here, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is if you're using a VAST or any antivirus, you're gonna to wanna to open the user interface. You're gonna to wanna to hop over to your menu, your settings, your exceptions, and you're gonna to wanna to add the nice hash miner to your exceptions. And the nice hash miner can be found in your app data local programs nice hash miner and you can just add that and i added a couple other ones as well but those are just ones that popped up that were getting blocked uh, it's pretty easy to do this with any antivirus if you're using windows defender you can also do it by going into here going to virus and threat protection uh, going into more options i think it'll be down here you can add an exception so once you're done all that, you can turn your shield back on so you're back to being protected. Then you can hop over to your benchmark page. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to have to do is benchmark. Now there are a couple of algorithms that you can use for mining. Uh, I personally like the T-Rex one. That's what I've been using recently. So I'm gonna use that one. If you are using an AMD card, you may have to use a different one. Uh, you can just benchmark a bunch of random ones and find out whatever one is the best for you that gets you the most speed and the most profitability so i'm going to use the t-rex miner and i'm going to click start benchmark but before i do that i'm going to want to head over to another video of mine where we check out msi afterburner and i'm going to want to open that program that i've already gotten because i watched that video and i'm going to want to do this if i have a 3070 this is the settings i want i want 1200 cork memory clock because memory clock is what matters for Bitcoin speed or Ethereum speed. And then I'm gonna to wanna to knock my core clock all the way down and I'm gonna to wanna to lower my power limit. 
So now I'm getting more economical. Now I'm drawing less power, so it's costing me less money from the wall. And I'm also dropping my core clock because that's irrelevant for mining. And it's also saving me power. And I'm just gonna wanna click yes on that. Now, if you wanna start gaming, you can just make another profile where it's all default and you can jump over to that when you wanna pl play games. But this, this gives you like a couple of bucks of speed increase. So now I can start my benchmark. Now for me, it's going to be a bit lower, but you should expect around 70 or 60 uh, hash rate for uh, an RTX 3070 card. So we'll just jump back once this is done. And there we go. Now we're done benchmarking it. We get 39 or 37, sorry, which is not great, but it's much higher when I'm not recording. It's 60, which is like $5 USD per day. And there we go, it's gonna start mining. And now you're set up for mining. You're, you can watch your profitability go up once this starts mining. We can watch it happen. And you can also, while we wait for that, you can hop over to your dashboard here. And you can see I have a couple of other rigs. This one, this is how much you'll get if you have a 1650 Super and a Ryzen 6 core. It'll be about $1.50 a day. And my old server is just hanging out. Is this going to start? It might not start. But at the rate of six bucks per day, you can expect it to take, it's around $300 Canadian a month. So this is how long it takes to pay off your 3070. 900 dollars well it's not how much i paid but a little bit more so about two and a half months is how long it'll take you to pay off your graphics card so i hope you guys enjoyed this little tech tip on how to set it up there you go you can see that it started mining i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you want some more in-depth videos on mining we can do that i hope you guys enjoyed i'm bha tech hunter and have a good day